tell you've ticked off an introvert. We all agree that we shouldn't tick off introverts. We've all done it, especially family and friends. The problem is knowing when you've ticked them off. Why should this even matter to you? Because if you tick off an introvert, you've made an enemy for life. Although not as verbal or out there about their anger as extroverts, introverts usually are more dangerous because they don't wear their hearts on their sleeves. If you're an introvert, you'll recognize some of these signs. If you're family or friends of an introvert, you'll remember these signs from past incidences. Here are 10 subtle signs that you've ticked off an introvert. Number 1. The introvert responds with one word. Think yes, no, fine, etc. Unlike extroverts who let the whole world know exactly how they're feeling, like anger, introverts shut down and resort to one word sentences. One word answers help them in two ways. 1. One word answers stop people pestering them by asking what's wrong if they don't respond, and 2. One word answers mean go away. You may not see it as anger, as the introvert may be almost emotionless as they tell you off or fake happiness with their one-word answers. 2. The introvert doesn't answer your calls. This is simply known as the silent treatment. While extroverts want to shout your ear off, letting you know exactly how you messed up, introverts don't want to deal with you at all. Because you stress them out, they want nothing to do with you and will avoid speaking to you face-to-face -face or over the phone at all costs. They cut you out of their life until they've forgiven you or gotten over whatever you did to cause them to go silent on you. 3. The introvert pretends everything is okay. This is a classic one because they use this to completely avoid the situation altogether and combine this reaction with one word answers. Passive aggressive behavior is a hallmark of introverted behavior. Introverts would rather fake smile, interact with you as little as possible, and get the hell away from you pronto. They hate confrontation and would rather be polite and leave than say their piece and have their energy drained from trying to resolve the matter. 4. The introvert blows up over small things. Introverts naturally bottle up their feelings. However, even they have their limits. You could be the unfortunate one that pushes their button. One minute they're fine, the next they're screaming their lungs at you. What's important to note about this burst of anger is that it's been bubbling under the surface for a long time. It may appear to come from nowhere and could be over something trivial, but this is not the case. The introvert has reached their limit. 5. The introvert refuses help. Typically, introverts refuse help from anyone, even well-meaning friends and family, simply because they love going it alone. They will, however, accept help from those who they tolerate or admire. You'll know for a fact that you've messed up with an introvert when they refuse your help even when there's no legitimate reason for them to do so. Even if they desperately need your help, they'll refuse because they don't want to be infected by your presence. For example, if you were to try to help an introvert to the ambulance after they sprain their ankle, they might shrug you off and limp to the ambulance on their own. 6. Apathy Some introverts use this as a way to shut down. Their calm exterior nature hides their fiery anger inside. They just don't care about anything. Things they were enthusiastic about become all of a sudden unimportant and whatever becomes their favorite new word. You know for sure they're apathetic to you if you're the only one affected by it. Because they don't like being verbal, which would lead to social interaction and having to reveal their interactions, introverts will be apathetic to you in a I'm angry or something's wrong kind of way without saying. Their actions will say the complete opposite. 7. The introvert retreats into their work. This is a sure sign introverts are majorly ticked off at you. They are quite happy to dive into work and drown in it and see it as a welcome escape, especially from someone who's ticked them off. In the workplace, for example, you'd see it by the way they'd cancel a lunch date with you because they've got too much work to do. At school, they stop hanging out with you because they've got too much homework. In relationships, it could be an excuse like, I have to work late tonight. It's their way of saying they don't need you and have better things to do. They're just using an excuse to do so. 8. The introvert only wants to communicate by text or email. There are introverts that avoid talking to someone they hate at all costs and get frustrated if they have to hear said person's voice. Thanks to the digital age, communication can be kept to email and texting. Say you call an introvert and leave a message. They'll respond to the message when they could have answered the phone, but they chose not to.
They could also offer up lame excuses about why they didn't answer the phone, like, I just got out of the shower, or, sorry, my phone was on silent. If this happens continuously and not occasionally, then you've rubbed the introvert on the wrong side. 9. The introvert seems to treat your pets better than you. Ouch. Introverts and animals get along better than introverts and humans at times. Animals don't expect much from you in the form of conversation and are happy sitting in silence enjoying your company. Let's say you have a pet and your introvert friend comes over. If they pay more attention to your pet, avoiding eye contact with you, or nod in a bored manner about what you're saying, then you've definitely annoyed them. They'll even say more to your pet than you. 10. The introvert wants to be alone. Nothing says leave me alone, like an introvert isolating themselves from others. Alone time is essential for an introvert to recharge and de-stress. This is a tough one because you don't know whether the introvert wants to be alone because you've ticked them off or if everything around them has ticked them off. If you want to know for sure whether you're the problem, watch how they react in a group of people. If you come on the scene and all of a sudden they want to leave and have left before you can even say hi, then it's you, buddy.